Well, a very good evening from Phuket. If you're new here, my name's Tony, welcome to my channel. Tonight we're going to be taking another look at Patong. I'm going to be walking around an area that I haven't covered before. And where we are, I don't know whether you can see behind me there, the little roundabout, the island. That is where you will come to if you're coming from Caron towards Patong. And then we have, just behind me here, the main road that runs along the back of John Ceylon shopping centre and also Patong Hospital and then on the other side we have the road that runs down to the beach and that is the road that we're going to take a walk down tonight this will lead us past Marlin Plaza which has been shut for a long period of time but it is now actually open so let's now go and have a walk okay so before we make our way down the road I'm going to just show you what's open here because most of this was closed up until very very recently but it's all sprung back to life as you can see restaurant over there coffee and restaurant in fact there's a couple of restaurants I think that one is that massage now that's massage isn't it not a restaurant sorry apologies that, it's not massage what is it I can't really tell it could be a restaurant we're, we're across the other side of the road so I'm not actually sure what that is huh uh, not saying it's a restaurant okay so you've got a couple of restaurants there's a tour shop right on the corner I believe and then just a little ways down the family mart has reopened okay Nat's with me tonight we're going to take a stroll down here we're going to have a look at, around Marlin Plaza because as I say that's been closed up until quite recently but it has now re reopened and tonight I've had a ride around before I've started to film just to get an idea of what's going on over here in Patong and I've got to say it's actually looking really busy I'm coming up to the coffee mania coffee shop that's open here got people in there dining it's definitely a lot busier than it has been the last few times I've been over to Patong Beach Road reasonably busy tonight lots of places open I've come down Ratchetit Road which is the road that I filmed last week I tried to do live stream but it didn't come out very well I shall redo that at another point in time and also pick a different time in the day probably early evening but that's looking very busy that's nearly 95% oh, all opened up now I'm really surprised how quick it's all started to open up we've got an exchange here I think she's just closed, she's taken down the prices, a tour shop and as you can see over there some more restaurants, we've got the Casablanca, massage shops here, really busy at the moment, you can see quite a lot of people in there, Body car. and we've got the Casablanca restaurant over the other side of the road, some of you may know that, that's reopened. And then we're coming down to the Mar Marlin Plaza. As you can see, lots of motorbikes in the streets, lots of noise going on. And we're going to make our way across and take a quick look around the Marlin Plaza because it's a great place to come and get yourself some food. That's if I don't get run over trying to get across the road. Again, massage shops there, really busy inside. I'm quite surprised actually, there's a reasonable amount of people, I'm not going to say it's, it's packed because of course Patong is not packed at the moment but there is a reasonable amount of people here at the minute, there's no doubt about that well you can see on the road the amount of traffic that's about and the motorbikes that are all parked up another restaurant there, seafood restaurant I think and then we've got the Marlin Plaza itself so I don't know which probably way best to go in here at the front. We've got an exchange right at the front. I'm going to try and see whether I can grab some prices quickly. Just to give you an idea of what it's like over in Patong. So these are going to change all the time though. That's the only thing. Okay, so we've got the US dollar, 50 is 100, 32.65. The UK is... 42.85 reasonable it's uh, the other day I saw it at 43 I think it was and then Australian dollar where is that ah, there uh, Australian dollar 23.65 that gives you a sort of benchmark and the euro 35.8 so 
so there you go obviously these prices will change so they're changing daily let's go now and have a quick look around the Marlin Plaza see what's on offer lots of food nice seafood there sorry car oh my favorite kebab I've not eaten yet tonight so I'm gonna have to grab some food at some point it was only a few well a month maybe six weeks ago this wasn't open at all the last time I came over to Patong there was only the very front stalls open here and now you can see yourself it's all suddenly sprung back to life so we've got some restaurants Nikki's restaurant so it's all suddenly sprung back to life lots of people mulling about mm, some nice food some what's this crab sticks nice and big crab sticks there those are nice okay let's have a look down there now first we'll go to the bottom might as well look around it all now it's open I think there's a few small bars in here as well so if you're coming in here you can get some food some drink place to chill out early evening Bangla Road looking quite busy now I did notice coming into Patong coming from Caron because that's the way I've come in tonight down to that small roundabout that I've just show, showed you Simon's Cabaret has now reopened up so that's a good sign that the cabaret shows are starting to reopen up but I also noticed just past there there was another police check and they were stopping all the foreigners so again word of caution make sure you're all legal if you're going to be hiring anything so we've got some bag stalls, sunglasses stalls. So, well, actually, it goes further back than I, I thought. So, well, it's quite uh, deceiving from the front. And it might be worth coming, some bags there for sale. It might be worth coming and having a hunt around. There's still, of course, one or two stalls that I can see down here that are closed but most of them are open let's just skip that part there because I think that's the bottom there just there and we'll go around the other side and work our way back but yeah it actually goes quite a way back from the front so you've got all the food area at the front and then this area at the back which I guess is all your clothing and accessories and all that type of things what a car so dresses t-shirts that's your thing then you're going to be able to find something in here I'm sure of it so one or two people mulling around at the back not too many are here it's more busier at the front You've got to find something to eat Nat what, do you, what, what, what are you going to have to eat tonight what, what are you in the mood for huh you don't know same answer every day don't know we live in a place where there's thousands of restaurants and we never know what to eat. Oops, sorry. So yeah, a couple of bars here by the looks of it. So we'll walk that way. Um, they're definitely worth coming in and exploring if you're passing. Maybe get some food or have a drink or two. Early evening, as I say. So it's definitely worth exploring some nice places quite a few people sitting outside so that's obviously if you're buying something there's an area where you can sit as well and eat your food Swaddy car? <laughs> Fruit shakes? Swaddy car? Swaddy car? Oh. Chicken fried with cashew nuts. Mm. More fish?
And then of course we've got some crepes. Not the traditional Thai rote, but the more French styled ones. And now what we're going to do is make our way along this road heading towards the beach. And we're going to cover this area for tonight. And then I shall be back over in Patong covering another area because it's too big to try and cover it all in one go. So I'm going to break it down into different sections. Um, we're at the bottom of Ratchetit Road towards the end where Hard Rock Cafe, Cafe is. So that's sort of right at the bottom, that end, rather than the northern end. And I'm going to cover this section tonight and then I'm going to do another section a little bit further on. I'll probably do some of them live and some pre-recorded. I'm going to do all the bar areas, all the Bangla Road when I go back down that. I shall cover all that live. So we've got some massage shops and then antique shops selling them different Thai antiques. There's a few hotels in this area as well. Got a hotel just over the back there behind me. I don't know the name of it. I can't see the sign to be honest. Now it's lit up. I can't read what the sign says from there. And then we've got a few closed shops. Not yet opened. A 7-Eleven there still closed. A few areas that haven't reopened here, a few businesses. That one's for rent by the side of me. And we've got a few that are open, so we're coming up to another restaurant here. Looks like massage, salon shop. Then what do we have? I think we've got some more massage. Or maybe it's all the one shop, I'm not quite sure. No? Haircut, so we've got a salon that does face massage, and then a massage shop, and then a motorbike shop. I'm not sure whether it's a hire shop or a repair shop. And then we've got the long walk down towards the beach. So we're going to head this way, because at the bottom of this road there are a number of bars so this is the very bottom now in front of us of Ratchetit Road it's tattoo studio so if you're looking to get a tattoo it's a tattoo studio here in this section and we're going to walk down here now there's a bit of a gap where there's not really much There's a big hotel on the left hand side, five star hotel. So we're going to take a look at the hotels that are along this stretch. I think they've all reopened now. Is this a hotel? I think it is. I think that's the, the coffee shop at the front of it, if it's call it that. Restaurant, coffee shop, I'm not quite sure what it is. Coconut Village Resort, that one is. That's all opened back up. Nice to see. Then we have another exchange. Tuk Tuk's about. 7 Eleven is still shut here, unfortunately. I believe there's another resort there. Is that a resort, Nat? I think it is, isn't it? Is it a hotel? Well, hotel resort, yeah. I'm not quite sure of the name of that one there. It says resort, but I can't read it because it's all, the sign's actually all overgrown. And then we've got a small shop. Sunglasses, clothing, to a shop. Now just on the right hand side, across the road there, 
There used to be a lot of bars. All this section used to be bars and a gym and massage shops. But unfortunately, a lot of them, this end here, are not yet opened up. I think there's one there. I can see people playing pool, snooker, not quite sure the back so there is some life coming back to it but the ones at the bottom they are all open so we've got a few there that are open so we're going to walk down big hotel to my left hand side here again this is all open back up very large resort this one is five star of course uh, yeah just one bar here that we've got the moon bar that's opened up but there was a collection of quite a few in that uh, complex before but unfortunately they haven't come back as yet but I dare say they will over time and then we've got coffee place bar I'm not quite sure okay so it's part of the resort and spa here so you can get yourself a drink there and then sit outside here enjoy it Then as you can see, across the other side of the road, we're starting to come to a little bit more life. The beach is just, well, 200 yards in front of me now, so we're almost at Beach Road. So we've got a massage over there, pharmacist I can see, a small clothing shop. And then there's a gym place that's open back up, because that had closed down, but I do see people inside again and all the equipment so there's a gym there fitness restaurant next to that and then you go into the bar section a few people in that restaurant there having some food not too many but a few still quite early I don't know what time it is, I'm just going to have a look at my phone. It's just gone 7 o'clock, so we're still quite early. I wanted to get over here early tonight. So, the bar's coming back now. Lots and lots of noise. People trying to get my attention, but I'm not crossing the road. I'm not going to be dragged into one of the bars. So, there are quite a few here to pick from. Smaller bars, rather than Bangla Road. So, this is another option outside of Bangla Road of course not everybody's mad on Bangla Road so there are quite a few options and this is what I want to show you on my channel the areas of Patong outside of Beach Road, Bangla Road that sort of area because a lot of people are very familiar with Bangla Road of course but are not so familiar with these areas that are just a little bit further outside of Bangla Road on the edge of Patong really a lot of choice when it comes to bars. And we're just coming down now to the beach. I'm sure most people will recognise this junction here. You get the view of Patong Beach in the daytime. But of course, unfortunately, it's gone dark. Whoop. Fireworks. They must have known I was coming. Okay, so we've got some fireworks as well, and the bars there. Plenty to pick from. Okay. And now we are just coming on to Beach Road. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that quick look around Patong in a different area to what most people cover is Bangla Road. Uh, the central department store area and of course Beach Road which we're now currently on but at the very southern end of Beach Road at the minute so I hope you've enjoyed that and if you have don't forget to give it the old big thumbs up as always check out the description and down below lots of links in there that are relevant to the video of course all my social media links are down in the description so do go check that out well that just leaves me to say as always Thanks for watching and until next time, you take care and I'll catch you on the next one.